Welcome to Real PropTech, the conference about the transformation of the real estate industry. Thank you. Thank you very much for the nice introduction. It sounds odd that someone from the very, very old economy comes here and PropTech and tries to give some new insights. But uh, it's good to see what really happens out there in the old, probably evolving to some, uh, something totally new, probably faster than we expect, because we are waiting for this, what I tried to, to show today for decades already. Because we are going to a total different approach in construction and it always takes much longer than we expect, but when it happens, it goes much faster. And I took over the company, which was over 130 years old, and founded Cree 2012. That's already seven years ago. And there were reasons for that, and we were suffering, suffering for years. And now we really uh, cannot help ourselves how fast the growth is. And that's because we have a total different approach there still doing construction. Tech comes in with all this new stuff, services, software as a service, whatever you can do to run the building, to make a little bit more transparency, but to bring the hardware stuff in place still has to work. Otherwise, you don't have, you don't have a building. And there are some accelerators at the moment. They change much faster. One is ecology, climate change, whatever you call it, panic, crisis, whatever. The reaction is there and it will change massively. And if you think you have a green building because you have this DGNB or LEED or BREEAM, dump it. That has nothing to do with climate, you know? That's nice. It's nice for investors and it has good things in it. But it doesn't really encounter the issue. And that's changing now with different material, with gray energy, this whole calculation. So that's one driver I think will happen. And the other one is tech coming in to the old company. And they're not talking about BIM. You know, a lot of construction companies say, oh, we're digital, we do BIM. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if you have a, a, a crappy process and you put BIM on it, it stays a BIMI is crappy process. So. It's a total change of doing things. People will not be anymore in the process. So I have a slight tornado, so I, uh, um, <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but the second part, I just want to show that the things are already happening. Because normally you, you hear this stuff, you say, oh, that could be work, I don't know. We, we already do it, and I want to show some of the stuff. So. One of the biggest drivers, and that's my responsibility, I felt at that time, was we use 40% of all the materials worldwide. Everyone in this room is part of this. So construction and real estate is, has the maximum impact on the planet. That's one thing, and it's not just about running energy. Every building is a prototype, you know that. I mean, we are not an industry. I wonder when construction will be an industry. We just putting stuff together. Then we have this driver moving into cities. We have to have solutions for cities. So if we want to build, that's what I started, building skyscrapers up with wood, 2012, and everyone said, that, that's not possible, not possible. I didn't know it's not possible. That's why we did it, because I was not a specialist at that time. We did not wood before, but we had to do wood because of the ecological backpack, minus 90% carbon. If you produce one, one uh, uh, cubic meter of concrete, you, produce, you emit 1.6 ton of carbon. If you do that with steel, one ton, two tons of carbon, e although you recycle 80%. If you use wood, you have minus 960 kilogram. That's minus one ton of carbon. So every cubic meter of wood, you take carbon out of the atmosphere. So building with wood buys us time. It's the best carbon storage technology in the world. And that's what Cree does. But we are a platform and we share what we know. That's why we grow so fast. 
and the market is still growing massively. I mean, it's, it's incredible what, what, how the market will grow, and at the same time, we, lose, we lost 20% of all skilled people in construction the last five years, and the process is going. You know, you get less skilled people coming in the market. That means, just for instance, you have a design, and probably it's a bad detail design with the window and the wall, but you had a good craftsman. He knows what he does. You know, that's the plan, but he knows what he's doing and the quality is there. We're not going to see that in the future. We will go in total different processes, and we have to decarbonize. So the process is totally fragmented still, too many stakeholders, not going to work, so we have to change the mindset. But the problem with the mind is, um, we rely on our experience, dangers. I call it the experience prison. Because we try to find solutions on the way what we learn, that's not going to work. And if you ask your clients, that's not going to work either because they, they, they don't have a clue what could, what could be there too. So, and the second thing is we are totally saturated. The business is running, all the construction companies, real estate is making money, so why would we change something? So if, if there is no pressure, that's, that's why not enough is happening. So that's, what, that's gonna happen. We're working on, on, on designing production sites like this. Everyone probably knew, heard about Katera. It's a similar concept. So if you look at production industry and construction industry, we're going into, and that's what I wanna talk about, construction as a service. And you probably ask, oh, so you, you're a general contractor. I said, no. Uh, so you, you're a developer. No, you're a designer. No. The drawer does not fit. It's just, Construction as a service. So, going out of the prototypes would mean we get out of this <laughs> uh, uh, graph. You know, we have the productivity in different industries. Construction, no, even less productivity. It's unbelievable. We invented new products, new technology, but productivity did not move up. So we have these problems, conventional project management. Every time a new supplier, new software, um, you know, I mean, you, you go on a construction site, it's unbelievable. We lose 30% waste. That's so bad. We have 40% of the revenue we spent on errors. I mean, there's so much money left somewhere, and we look 150 years between those two pictures. Stadtschloss Berlin, New Gallery Castle. I mean, that's 150 tech development. <laughs> so, when, look, when you look at the figures, that's, that's a, a nice one. If, you, if you're the client, you get 51.5% real for the product. You spend, that's what you get for your money. But you spend for constructor risk, constructor fees, design development, site overhead, site over construction overheads, all these things, defects, waste, that's what you pay for. And that's how it works, you know? You go to a project manager, you have an architect, MEG and, uh, MEP engineer, general main contractor with always different supply chains. That's not gonna work. And there are two different ways to do, I don't know, probably someone has seen this video, you know, that's Indianapolis in the 60s. So that's the way construction works today. So you have an order, someone's starting to design. Um, you have a lot of discussions with the MEP stuff. No one really takes the risk. You put some stuff in it that it works, but you don't look at the prices, whatever. It's always a different process, and it follows a logic we developed, established 100 years. And what I realized the last seven years, promoting a different way, I could not get through. That's why we started doing things differently. They said, oh yeah, we understand. We should make it different, but then they realized uh, they, have, they want to go the old way. But what we do, and what I'm talking about, construction as a service is like, you organize it totally differently. More preparation, seamless processes, high tech, and then when it happens, it happens, and you know what you get. <laughs> so, those are the two ways to establish a building. 
And I will show a similar video after uh, uh, from a construction site. So, I mean, that's not a secret. You just have to read all those reports, uh, KPMG, World Economic Forum. If you read this, that's, that's what you have to do. Everything is no secret. It's not like someone is developing tech and no one knows it. It's just, it's just doing. And we changed this process. We said, okay, we want to get risk of those red things and keep those because our partners, they should still have the profit, but we want to no waste on the errors. So it's more a platform uh, pro uh, concept where everyone knows what's happening, what parts are used, which parts did work well out last time, what can we use now better? It's a learning all the time. So, and when you look, what are the barriers of those improvements and where to look at, where's the biggest chunk getting out? And I promise you can build 30% cheaper. 30% uh, if, you really, if you really tackle this. And it's all about volumetric thing, platform thinking, product family thinking, seamless process, lean, it's all of those things, but so together to a transparent process where a lot of people can work on the same, on the same platform. So, like, I mean, you have different cars, but still they use for a lot of things the same platform. Why would you use a different heating and cooling concept when you know this is the best at the market at the moment. We tried it at the last project, we improved it for the next project a little bit. Why would I think or give to an MEP planner the freedom to do what he thinks could be or he's seen somewhere else? That's the way you spend your money today. I mean, if an MEP planner, for instance, he has to have some meet some goals, temperature, whatever, but he, he's not going to make a risk because the log, the, 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 the law guys, they make those uh, thick contracts. You, know, you are responsible, reliable. What do they do? They put stuff in it. They are safe. They don't pay it. So you don't really know what you need or not need. What we do is we test every part, which is critical. We leave away the reserve you have. When you use a prefab element, you have all the control in the production. Why would you add this 80% you normally add in the norm because you don't know if the iron bar is on the right place on the side. That's what happens today. That's all the things you pay. So we have components. We develop components based on a wood hybrid structure and you always can add new parts. And you know exactly what you get, what the data behind the part is, how much carbon it stores, what it costs, where it comes from, what time has it been on the site. That's all data. And when you connect this data, um, you, you have this digital twin. I mean, when you, get, when you get a design, I would never give someone an order to build something if I don't see the digital twin before and have all the information of this. I mean, you spend millions on something, on, on, on a picture. And, and this is possible today, you just have to ask for it. And if nine people say, uh, we don't do that, probably number 10 does it. And that's what's happening. With those data, you have all the calculation. We can do at the moment, in 48 hours, if you send us a plot of a, a piece of land, what you want to build there, probably the first design of a nice architect, a great design, you send it in, in 48 hours we tell you how you could build it with no, minus 90% carbon in half the time and cheaper. So a rough, a rough calculation, but it's not that rough because we know exactly what parts are in and what the parts cost, who's delivering it, where it comes from. So this is a simulation which is just easy. We put together data from an MS project plan um, with the 3D model, and this is every day, is one day. So you know exactly on which day, which part has to be where, because you have to put the cranes. We are looking at how many crane lifts you have and how you can optimize that you have better crane lift efficiency, for instance. That's just one thing out of 100. 
So it starts with a configurator. We have the scenario, the location, the site. We say, okay, what kind of volumetric analysis we have. That's when you get out a building type. Um, you have all the parts behind and you get the local manufacturer if you are the general contractor. If you want to build everything yourself or we do it for you, uh, that's your decision. So here we have a configurator where you just see what part is it, you know exactly what has to be delivered there and, and you even can get some help in a chat, <laughs> in a chat function uh, what did work there from another project, you get some responses, this, uh, this worked out well or not. And the good thing is, the good thing is because we have uh, projects all over the world now, we work as a platform Cree, we have partners in many countries, Singapore, Belgium, uh, Germany, <laughs> obviously, uh, we learn from each other because every project is on the same platform. Every new part developed in Japan from our partner is there for everyone else. We share what we know, that's why we're always faster. And like Banksy says, copyright is for losers. Think about this, okay? If, 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 if you have to take care about copyright, you don't believe that you're fast enough. And that's, that's quite interesting because that's a mindset which will change the future. The, 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 the capability of organizations or people to share, to share what they know. If we, everyone in this room, would know what all together know, that would be incredible. And the planet would look different if we would just share what we know. And that's the concept here. So every project uh, delivers data to all the others and the next project. So we have those problems, productivity, waste, that's what we tackle, and what we do is we want to go out of this unsustainable process. So we have this smart design, we have a configurator where top architects work with. Um, we have uh, really great projects done by great architects, but they know this will work as a wooden structure. I will get the approval, I have all the tests behind it. Otherwise, when you start with a wooden project, good luck. Just add one year talk for the, the, the fire protection and all this thing. Doing this in a professional way uh, repeatedly makes really sense. So I will uh, skip some uh, things, but when we talk about uh, digital design, we, have, we even can generate from inside uh, uh, the, the structure when we get the outside envelope automatically. And then you start working. You still, you go inside in 3D, you say, I like that, I don't like this, I want different parts in there. Transportation and the platform kit, you know? There's no more efficient way to transport than wooden structure, weight to load ratio, uh, to, to, to volume ratio. That's logistic and production costs. The production itself is getting more and more in prefabrication, in robotic. So, that means that the, the, the robots, they don't care if part A is a little bit different to part P. Just the right parts has to be there. So that's a different type of mass customization and it's like Lego, the way we put the things together. And one big thing is the integration of other parts and companies, so on this platform, you can choose what kind of product you want, you can add the product, you realize does it fit or not fit. We always have the best products listed, either you trust us or not, or you go yourself with every product through 100 uh, possibilities. Most important thing, cradle to cradle, and the ecological thing, I think that will change a lot now. We will see carbon prices, we will see regulations. We are working at the moment uh, um, on big projects. One has to do with Olympia and they, they just decided the whole thing has to be in wood. Because now the data is there that it makes so much sense to do that. And if, you, if someone tells you we have a really green building and then you ask him, do you have a list of the material in the building because you're the next, next generations will probably be happy to get those back. Or do you have a disassemble manual? 
how you do the disassembly. If someone has not that answer, you say just next, please. So there's a huge potential for cost reduction for site, and I will go uh, skip the, the revenue screen <laughs> streams of us because I'm not here looking for an investor. If it's a big one, I would think about, but I'd love to scale faster, like Tesla probably was, not now. <laughs> So what we did already is we, pre we built four projects, 13 are planned already in different countries of Europe. That's our growth story because we already have regulatory access in many countries. Whatever machine you put on that, we can go in those countries and fully modular. So we see 80 to 90% will use the same module library and we will be very fast. I'm now going to show some pictures. That's the first eight-story building we built 2012. Eight days for assembly. This was uh, uh, six and a half weeks for assembly. Uh, this is a project now from our Cree Denmark, from Danish partner. They do now the first pilot project there. After that, we are in Denmark with all what we need to build. This is Berlin Südkreuz. This is the new uh, headquarter of Vattenfall. Uh, we do for OVG. Um, mostly because of the carbon story too. Then we have a residential stuff here. Uh, uh, it's, it's proven that you sleep better, health is be better when you live in a wood building or work or in school in the wooden building. We have in Austria a couple of, uh, of research on that. So if you build a hotel, what do you want to do in a hotel? You want to sleep. So this is uh, an extension of our office building. This is a Berlin project, not built. It's at the Holzmark, but it's interesting because for that building, we had one slab type, one type of prefabricated slab for the ceiling for all five buildings. It was assembly time planned 100 days. So this is the Südkreuz already starting. Um, it's a very tech building. There's a lot of, of smart technology in it, and it will be in operation 2021. This is really, really uh, uh, I'm proud of and happy that our partner Zech uh, is doing really <laughs> pushing on, on this topic because that's the Handwerker House in Bremen and Kurt Zech himself said, I want to see this building build up in 14 days. And that's exactly what they did, 10 working days, and I show you the, uh, the video, that's, that's the whole 10 days, just during the day. And as you see, this is all prefab, and it's, uh, it's, it's tight. I mean, they even put the roof, made the roof tight. So, and with that concept, you can build even when it rains, because after every floor, we are tight. And so, that's, that's how it looks like uh, 14 days, and it's airtight. And it's almost on the inside, it's, it's Ausbaufertig. And that's a little bit similar, just doing it, the same building, doing it, Total different way of design and construction. And when you look at this guy, you know he's. He, I mean, he's just he's doing it a little bit different. Okay. So the others they are still cycling and cycling and cycling, and he just changes the rules. Okay. He just. I mean, he's doing nothing but <laughs> having a new tech. It's kind of new technology. So I have to come to an end. But I will close with one thing, which came out to make it a little bit digital, more digital, what came out of our optimization of the process was my loved Aladdin lamp, okay? Because I thought, you have seen this process, 14 days. After that, you put in just the elevated floor, then 300 employees come on their first day and they find 300 Aladdin lamps in the basement floor. They take their lamp, go to their desk, plug in, and then they have wireless, Bluetooth, they have the sensors, they have the, all this measuring, carbon, humidity, they have the steering, they have the app on their handy, and the whole building is fit out with the technology. And we didn't use companies for that. We just said, if the first process works like this, we can go with different tech to go in a new building or an existing building to pimp it up. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Hubert.
Please stay here.